By arc length, we mean to find length of a curve. Now, if we are given a curve like this one, this is a curve in the blue line. This is the graph of a function y is equal to f of x. And we need to find the length of this curve from A to B. The process is very similar to that of the Riemann sum. We split the whole interval from A to B into small sub-intervals, just like x0 to x1, x1 to x2, x2 to x3, and so on. Now, from each point, from each point, just like on the x-axis, there is x0. So on the curve, we can express a point, P0, P1, P2, P3, and up to Pn. Now we can find the distance between any two points by using the distance formula, just like d is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under the root. So by using that formula, we can find distance between P0 to P1, which will be D1. Then we can find distance between P1 to P2, that will be D2. Then we can find distance from P2 to P3, that will be D3 and so on. And then by the Riemann sum, we take summation of all distances. And then finally we take limits. And when we take limits, we get that formula. So if there is a function y is equal to f of x, and we need to find its length from x is equal to a to x is equal to b, we shall use this formula. The formula is s is equal to integration is from a to b, 1 plus f dash whole square under the root. Now f dash can, can also be written as dy by dx. So we can also represent f dash by dy by dx. And the formula is same. Similarly, if we need to find the length of a curve which is in y, x is equal to f of y, from a point y is equal to c, to another point, y is equal to d. In that case, we have the same formula, but instead of f dash of x, now we have f dash of y. So the formula for the arc length is s is equal to c to d, one plus f dash of y whole square under the root dy. Or instead of f dash, we can also write dx over dy. The remaining formula is same. So we shall remember this formula or this formula to find the length of a curve, the length of the graph of some function. Let us solve an example to explain the method. Look at this example. In this example, we have a function f of y, where y is between 1 to 4, and we need to find the length of the graph of this function. So the first task is to find the formula. The formula is integration from a to b, 1 plus f dash of y, whole square and under the root. For under the root, we can also write one over two here into dy. Let us say this is our formula number two. Now in this formula, I need f dash of y and I need the value of a and b. So we can see that a is one and b is four. So what I need now, f dash of y. So to find f dash of y, we need to integrate f of y. Sorry, we need to differentiate f of y. So f dash of y from one, we can get this equal to three 
y square divided by 12 and from here this is minus 1 over y square if we further simplify this we get f dash of y is equal to y square divided by 4 minus 1 over y square let us put these values in formula number 2 so if I put these values in formula number two, we yes, sir. get integration is sir. limit c to d, sir. yes, sir. sir. Please ask. Sir, a and b are c and d, yes, sir. Yeah, it's okay. We can write c and d. These are just constant. Sir, the differentiation of represent by sir. alpha, beta, a, b, c, d. It's up to you, okay? These are just general number. So don't worry about this. Actually, when we represent two formulas, in that case, just we take a, b along x axis and c, d along y axis. But it does not matter. You can also represent limits a, b along the y axis. So don't worry about that. Is it clear? Yes, Is sir. It clear? I'm asking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we can put the values. The limits are from one to four, and we can write one plus f dash of y. F dash of y is y square divided by four minus 1 over y square whole square and whole power 1 over 2 into dy and now let us simplify this so we have 1 to 4 1 plus this is a minus b whole square so let us expand this so we can write y4 divided by 16 plus 1 over y4 minus 2 first function which is y square over 4 into second which is 1 over y square there is product okay whole power is 1 over 2 into dy now 2 2 are is 4 and y square will cancel with y so here we can write that this is equal to 1 to 4 into now, this is y4 divided by 16 plus 1 over y power 4 plus I'm writing this one now, which is 1 and this one is now minus 1 over 2 into dy. Let us simplify it a little more. So we have s is equal to integration is from 1 to 4 there is 1 over 2. The whole power is 1 over 2. So now I can write y power 4 divided by 16 plus 1 over y power 4. And this one is now plus 1 over 2. Whole power is 1 over 2 dy. And now you can see this is again formula of a plus b whole square. So we write 1 to 4 into from this I can write y square divided by 4 plus 1 over y square whole square whole power is 1 over 2 into dy if you use formula a plus b whole square you can find y square over 4 whole square from this you can get y4 over 16 then plus 1 over y square whole square from that you can get the second term which is 1 over y4 and then plus 2 first into second from that you can get y1 over 2 so now this 2 will cancel with this one so as a result we have 1 to 4 integration is from 1 to 4 and now we have y square divided by 4 plus 1 over y square into dy so now let us integrate this 
So if we integrate this, we can get y cube divided by three. So we can write three into four here. Then plus, okay. If I integrate one over y square, we can take y square up. So we can write y power minus two. So y power minus two plus one divided by minus two plus one. From that we get one over y. And the limits are from one to four. And now let us put the upper limits as well as the lower limits. So we get, let us put the upper limits. So we have four Q divided by 12 minus one over four minus, now let us put the lower limit, one Q divided by 12 minus one over one is one. Then now let us simplify this. Four power three, from this we get 64 divided by 12 minus one over four, minus one over 12 and plus one. So in the next step now, let us take the LCM. The LCM is 12 and we can get 64 minus one, minus three, plus 12. And if we further simplify this, we have 72 divided by 12. And from this, we get the volume, which is equal to six, because 12 six are is 72. So that is the required volume. Sorry, this is not the volume. This is the length of the curve. So we get the required length S, which is equal to six.